Hello again, I'm Ryan Newton, Simon CNC, and today we're on the Traub once more, ironing out the alignments. Last week you saw me set up all the proximity switches, uh, we set up the clamping, we've got the turret indexing, all the encoders, everything's set. So now we've got to run through the motions of the alignments. We have got new ball screws on there, all refurbished, uh, depending which way, whether they were repaired or not. Uh, everything's been checked, so every ball screw, I've zeroed out all the backlash tolerances. So what we've got here, I've got the plunge clock set up on with dollar one and dollar two for the x-axis travel. First in the program is the geo rapid. As you can see there, I've just wound on in the same direction and we're on zero. I'm going to cycle start from that position. The cycle start now and we're just moving point one rapid back and point one the other way and back to reset. As you can see, I'm just under one micron. So we've entered one more micron into the electronic backlash and here we have the program repeating and everything's honing in nicely. That's the principles of the backlash shown. Uh, I'm going to run through all the axes now, obviously finish off the, the feed rates of the Xs. Uh, we do the rapids of the Zs, Z1, Z2. We've got a Y axis up there uh, and a V axis. So we'll run through the motions and then we can do the grid shifts and the, the reference points. making good progress this morning, uh, we're two hours in, it's now 10am, um, been a little niggly bit, I've actually plotted the turret out, that casting, when we do a service we actually take the turret off and place the earth, uh, seals, the wiper exploded and we knock the dowels in the earth ring, this earth ring then locks back mechanically uh, and under hydraulics into the casting on the teeth on the other side, this is locked home, so we know that the turret is perfect to the casting, but seeing as we've had the casting off, get jacked and we have to make sure it's parallel to the x-axis so that's all been done now we can clock round and the beauty about dollar one is uh, we have a y-axis so I can now clock round get the x's done uh, and just nip the y up and down until it's perfect dollar two however we can get it clocked true in the same way but we could be high or we could be low so what we have to do we have to uh, jack it round parallel but also at the same time make sure we get it cocked on onto the centre line. So you've just seen me reconcile the machine out, the backlash is now complete, so now we're going to do each axis, clock around the spindle uh, and hone these uh, reference points in.
So I've just brought dollar two into position uh, with zero top and bottom on the X. And on the top of the bar, we've got just over 10 microns in the Y axis, if you like. We need to drop the turret down. But when we clocked on the parallel bar, it needed to come up. So we're gonna to have to bring it up parallel and then drop it down. But my error is about 10 micron that we need to bring this part of the turret down. So I've now set up the casting, it's nice and true. I've gone back to my mandrel at the main spindle and we've owned it in back on, on X, zero, top and bottom. And we come across on the y-axis plane and we've got a, just over a 15 about an 18 micron error so we need to drop it down 18 micron so i'm just bringing it onto the peak of the bar reset the zero just to double check Just check that the bar isn't bent, remove the z-axis and make sure we're on the peak of the bar and that gives you the true error. Pretty good there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put plus whatever we had on this clock. About 18 microns. So now no matter what I've got to do, I've got to drop the casting to zero but keep it parallel. And then when I bring it back up to the top, we should be good. So we've achieved zero now across the bar and just brought it back up to the center line slightly had to adjust the x i don't know if you can see that there it's, it is on zero believe me and i'll just whip round to the top and as you can see the center eye is now bob on x2 position should be my mandrel uh 139.968 so we've just got to electronically correct that now uh, do the Z2 master ATCs uh, and then both dollar one dollar two is all complete apart from the V axis. Uh, what we need to do there is just check on the V. I'm going to run it round, but what we haven't done yet is we haven't done a turn test. But once I've got all these alignments done, I can think about putting some guards on. We can do the turn test, uh, all this warping can get into this warp conveyor and not into the, the components of the machine. Hopefully, the main spindle is good, we haven't had that off. Uh, the casting. Obviously we've had the V-axis off so then we need to fine tune the spindle uh, and taper test, turn test, set up relative to the main spindle uh, and that's where we are and that's what we're going to do the rest of the week. turn test which we will uh, get underway once we've got a few more guards on but all in all everything went well uh, we've just done the original test cycle that we had it did throw up an error i got the indexing valve uh, directional the, the wrong way around therefore the encoder got thrown off uh, but all in all a good day